Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have an unbagging. Now this unbagging is a little bit different um, because it came in like this big Amazon thing. So you're probably wondering what company it came from. It comes to us from Star Ore. And already, uh, good God, look at that confetti. I do apologize about the lighting. The sun and Mother Nature are doing their thing today. So this kit comes to us from Star Ore. Now, I've always been a big fan of Star Ore, so when I found out she has some new spring designs coming out, she contacted me and asked me would I be willing to show one, so I said of course I would, but I went ahead and picked one. So the one I picked was this one. It's called Land World. She reminds me of steampunk, like the hair and the feather, oh my gosh, and the tattoos. And I believe I've seen her working this one up on her site. So if you have her on Instagram, you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna take a look for ourselves, get an in-depth view of what it looks like. So have you ever ordered from Star Or? How was your experience? I know Star Or is a one person show. I know she kind of runs this by herself. She tests all her kits beforehand. Um, but I haven't had any issues with the Star Ors that I've had. So let's take a look here. So on the back of this pamphlet, which is the pamphlet that comes up front, it shows you tips to diamond painting and framing. And it tells you like how to identify your symbols and all that fun jazz. Um, on the back here, it tells you the difference between round and ABs, rhinestones and the squares, tells you the toolkit content, and then it gives you the schematic and everything for the kit that you chose. So let's take a look at this kit. The confetti game is real. If you are a confetti lover, Land World might be for you. Now, usually I don't go with faces because faces kind of freak me out, not to lie. But I saw this one as one of her new spring releases and I was like, okay, I have to at least take a look at it. And whoa, that is, oh, I was like, why is it so lumpy? Because Lucy over at Star Org gives you these opaque papers to put on the canvas in case you decide that you don't like the clear cover, you can use the opaque pieces. And it's all it's a little scratched up on the side over here, which that won't matter because when you frame it, you won't see that anyways. Uh, it does have the schematic up top here. And then it has your checklist at the bottom here. It looks like she might have gone for a different company for her drills because I don't remember her drills being in a bag like this before. It says your fabric size is going to be the 39 by 52, but your drill area is going to be 35 by 47. So the whole canvas itself is 39 by 52, and then the, just the drill area is 35 by 47. Your toolkit. Now, Lucy has a really awesome toolkit. One, because she's very known for her tweezers. Love her tweezers. They are the rounded tweezers, so you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself. And of course, you know, oh no, these this is a different toolkit because it doesn't even have her branding on it. That's weird. So they're not branded, but they are still the good tweezers, the rounded tip ones that don't scratch your drills. You have a white pen with a plastic tip. I'm not a fan of the plastic tip, to be honest, but it has the clear pen with the purple squishy. I'll probably just steal the squishy. It has a placer. It has a seven placer that comes with it, which you probably won't honestly be able to use because there literally is so much confetti in this kit. I don't see you being able to use that seven placer on it. But it has a white boat oh, that I'm dropping on the floor. It has a white boat with a funnel and a plate of wax. Your bag of baggies. Now she uses the good baggies. The good baggies being as in. Uh, the baggies that have the lines on it that you can write so you can do the symbol, the DMC code, and what kit it is. So you can write on the baggies, you know, all the information you need to complete the kit if you wanted to put your drills in the baggies. And then you have your drills. Again, this looks like... Uh, the drills look like the ones that come from like CES deals and stuff like that. Like, I'm not sure what company uses these drills, but these, these aren't the same drills that she normally uses. So, uh, let's see. 
land world. It says A2. Well, I got the paper stuck to some tape. So A1154. Okay, so I do know it's going to be... Let's take a look at this. So the gray film helps tell you uh, all the information. So A1, which is the number on the, the legend on the thing here. So it matches A1154. And then A1 at the very top, 154. Diamonds, you need 119. It says it gave you 155. And if you get a kit and you have at least one drill left out of your kit, then they did their job. It's not really... It's not really efficient to give you a crap ton of extra drills because there are some people out there that throw out their drills. So the fact that she gives you enough to complete it and not necessarily like you have like five or six unopened bags of drills that you didn't even use. I like the fact that she doesn't give you too many because it's not wasteful. Having all those extra drills are wasteful because just think if you never run into the issue, if you're lucky enough to love this craft and do this craft and you don't run into the issue of running out of drills, then you have bags upon bags of drills just laying around doing nothing unless you find something very creative to do with them, like make a bookmark or make some kind of canvas or some, some something like that. So I like the fact that she doesn't give you a crap ton of extra drills because I don't mind getting extra drills and I do save my drills. I don't mind getting a, a little bit of extra drills, but I don't want it to be ridiculous where I have, say, five or six unopened bags of a color and then I'm stuck with these bags because, they're, yeah, you get it, you get it. Anyways, anyways. So we have bag 154. This next one is 317. I think they're in order, so I think I'm just going to put the colors out so you guys can see them. They are good quality. So the next one should be 350. Nope, 3371. So we got the chocolate brown 3371. And then we have 350, 640. Let's just look at the colors first. We can inventory them here in a few minutes. So these are all the colors. It does have a lot of muted colors in this kit. We got like a soft peach. Like a baby poop green there. We got some blush peach looking color. We have gray. Uh, uh, what, what are you what are you doing in there? You're supposed to be in the other bag. Whatever. We got another gray. Looks like another bag of oh no, that's 839. This looks like 939. Nope, 3379. We have some brown and some tan and some sunflower seed brown and this peachy color and some more peachy colors and some more brown colors. Here we go. We got some reds. Looks like a red or a burgundy. We got some more chocolate brown. 938. Another peachy color. Love that color. What color is that? 958. 959. This last one is 839. So those are all the colors that come in this kit. It's a long string of diamonds. I do like the fact that it's in strings and not like just kind of thrown in the bag. I do like the bag. I do like these bags because it does give you all the information you need on the bag for diamond painting your kit. And now we're gonna take a look. Now, if you ever get a clear cover diamond painting, just know it is probably poured glue. Well, it is poured glue because I haven't seen a clear cover that wasn't poured glue. So we're gonna bring you down into her business so we can take a look to see it, the confetti and how the symbol quality is. So, and we're gonna move around, so don't worry. So, so far, these bees here look a little sh shady. They're a little shady, not the clearest. Now you just make sure that that's not like a wrinkle in the plastic or something. No, that's flat. So those bees there look a little bit on the, the 
light side. They might need to work, work on those bees. So let's see here. But you can definitely tell what they are because they're dark. And also keep in mind that the lighting in here right now, Mother Nature's doing her thing outside. Bless the trees and the sunshine. All right, so we got sixes and U's and D's. It looks for the most part like this is going to be very clear. Minus a cup, minus the B's. I have to honestly say, oh, look, it says number one. One. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Sorry. Two. Give me. Everything turns into a musical on my channel, if you didn't notice. Anyways, um, so like, yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of confetti in this. This is very, very heavy. This is for expert confetti lovers because the the amount of confetti in it but isn't she gorgeous she's so badass i love her i love her so much um i'm not sure when i'll be able to get to her unfortunately because i have so much stuff to do so much stuff for you guys but i do absolutely love this freaking kit i when i saw it i was just like i i know i won't be able to get to her right away but you know what i will get to her eventually and i'm okay with that I'm okay with the fact that I can't get to my kits right away, and it just gives me something to look forward to later on down the road. So we're going to take our ruler and straighten that out. Oh, yeah. Then I got to pull the thing. We're going to pull the plastic back on it. And this is just to flatten it out so that we get some rid of some of those bumps. But I love the colors in it. I love the way she looks like this painting is going to look phenomenal. And if you want to see what it looks like completed, go head over to Lucy's channel here on YouTube or her Instagram, which I will have both of them linked down in the description box below. This is one of my other favorite companies that carries poured glue canvases. So if you have not yet checked out Star Ore, please give them a try. Do keep in mind that all companies have hiccups. So if you do have a bad experience with the company, try giving them a second chance. Maybe things have changed. They do try to improve on their items every day. And Lucy is a one-woman show, so I will always show support to her because she not only is a one-woman show, she is a mom just like me. And to be able to complete these, make critiques, tell herself, you know, this one doesn't look the best. Let me upgrade this and make it look better. I will always have the utmost respect for her. So check her out. She does amazing work. Um, I know lately there has been an issue. Uh, I think I heard someone say something about she didn't, she didn't respond back to a message. Do keep in mind, I'm not sure if she's on vacation, but, uh, give her some time because again, she does run this operation by herself. So give her some time to respond. And yeah, that's really all I can say about that. But I would definitely, definitely recommend this kit. She has four new designs coming out for spring. So if you are interested in the new designs, which should pop up over there, if you are interested in any of the new designs, head over, check her out. I believe she is taking pre-orders, but you guys, I had to get this one. I had to. When she asked me, I was like, oh my God, Lucy, the one you're working on is gorgeous. Can I get that one? So I got her and I freaking love it. Just, oh, I might want to show you the, the thing. This is what she's going to look like. It just reminded me something out of steampunk. Like, oh my God, I just, I love it. I just love it so much. So thank you to Lucy over at Star Ore. The drill quality looks good. I do like the new baggies. I do like the new bagging system. Um, as usual, I love, love, love her pamphlets. I love having that extra legend on the side because even though she only has one legend at the top over here, I have a walking legend. This is what I call a walking legend, meaning when I'm working, I can put this on the side of me and go, okay, what symbol do I need next? Bam, bam, boom. Walking legend. The drill quality looks really good. I love her tool kits, even though I'm a little bummed out that I didn't get a branded set of tweezers, but I already have like four branded sets of tweezers from Star Wars, so it's not really a big deal. Um... Oh, hold up. There's another placer in there. There's a couple of So we have a nine straightener and then a four placer, which is good because I need another four placer. So we got a four placer, a seven placer, a white pen with a plastic tip, the purple squishy, the uh, tweezers, the baggies, a plate of wax, the white boat with the funnel. If I had to tell her any improvements, I would ask, could she get the blue or the white wax in her kit? Because nobody really likes the, the, the pink wax. Nobody likes it, you guys. We don't like it. So yeah. So if you are interested, again, in the new designs, they should be coming out here soon. By the time you see this video, she, this canvas will be available. 
Uh, so go ahead over to Star or Diamond Star or Diamond Painting .com, which I will have linked down in the description box of this video. You, if you can't get them on Amazon, because I know Amazon does sell her kits as well. If it's on Amazon, I will have it linked. If it's not on Amazon, her website will ship. I think her website ships worldwide. So if you're interested in this kit, I would highly, highly recommend the canvas quality. I would give a four out of five because those bees are a little on the light side, Lucy. The bees are a little bit on the light side. But the rest of the symbols look great. Like, look at, okay, it just caught my eye just now. Do you see this? I can't see it. That purple looks like a 550. Is there a 550 in this kit? H. No, it looks like a 550, but it's not. It's actually a 154. The canvas quality is great. I love this polyester fabric that she's using. It did come a little scruffed up on the side, which again, I don't care. I'm not diamond painting the side. So yeah, if you haven't checked her out, please go check her out. I would highly recommend Star Or. They're amongst my top five for favorite stores to shop from. So I would say definitely go try it out. You guys are all crooked. But with that said, folks, I am now going to have to bid you adieu, but not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I am now going to really have to bid you adieu, but not before I remind you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.